Gary's already got his shirt off. <laughs> that didn't take very long, did it? Well, how's my mobility? Larry, when was the last time you stretched? Last year for my big deadlift. So let's, let's get into it. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, I'm putting Larry through some stupid uh, flexibility exercise today, and you guys are going to enjoy it. It's so hot. Um, this is a caustic stretch. This is one of my favorite stretches. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. So you can start with your hands okay. like this just to kind of support you. And then all you're going to do is just kind of use your hands to get the other side. Yeah, there you go. Now you can feel it in your groin right here. Big time. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and you're going to feel it in your ankle right here. Oh, you feel your knee. Your knee? Yeah, you feel it in your knee and your ankle on the side. You're just going to use your hand to kind of move you back and forth. This is probably on the tower. Oh, my butt. Is that? What? Did your butt just dump her with something? It's really Larry. It's really in the video to shoot yourself. <laughs> with this stretch in particular, guys, Larry, if you want to also stretch nice shoes, by the way. Yeah, thanks, Larry. Yeah, you can also stretch your hamstring just by pointing your foot up like this. See that? And then you feel the big hamstring in that left leg. You do. In the yeah. ankle. The ankle. This is, you know, you might actually need this. <laughs> one, one thing a lot of people don't understand, Larry, about flexibility training is that you do reps and sets. So a lot of people just try to, they think they got to do it all at once. So usually when you do a strength exercise, for example, you do it, you're not out of breath, see? He's breathing through his nose still, but it doesn't necessarily mean your body doesn't need a break. For just a moment, to kind of recalibrate itself, adjust to the reflex and the stretching. So how many sets and reps do you typically do before a standing workout? What Great question. No, it works exactly the same way as strength training. Um, so how many sets do you need to warm up for a top set of like a squat or a bench press or a deadlift? You know, you're going to need the same way. So you're going to work up to your maximum range of motion. And you'll know when you're there because you can't go any further. Your sets stop progressing and you're going to feel a lot different from when you started. And then you typically do like two or three sets, two or three working sets. So you can actually include this type of stuff in your strength training. Well, I did do some dynamic stretching prior to all my big lifts. Yeah, like and that was literally just like that. Yeah, and some of these. Yeah, <laughs> those are great. <laughs> my, my testosterone levels just increased from Larry's laughter. <laughs> Approach you with more confidence, but not quite more mobility. And I see this is this is where you get to take off the training wheels. No hands. Sharing my ankle. Oh shit! Oh look at you! Oh, yeah. So you have it. You had it in you the whole time, man. Shh. Yep. Yes, you're, you're getting to the point where you're realizing you can raise your hands to increase difficulty. So start with your hands here, draw across, and then you can stand here. With your arms just kind of here, more upright, and play around with the motion. And then you can get to the point where you're raising your hands overhead. Trevor, I may want to do this too. Yeah. If you're not filming, you're doing this with us. Yeah. What? If you're not filming, you're doing this with us. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> Have you had weights since I last saw you? Like, you look like fuller in a good way. I've had it several pounds. Okay. I was panic eating when I got that much of the rap dough. Okay. So I thought my blood sugar dropping. I was wrong. But during that week of me thinking my blood sugar dropping, I was eating more. <laughs> Consuming lots of donuts and pizza and whatever. Oh. I felt the breeze, my blood sugar. So I gained 15 pounds. I am feeling very strong yeah. near my peak strength in the past, which makes me wish I knew how little can get you so far. Right. A decade ago, but yeah. Better late than never, right? <laughs> but uh, that video is at the top of the screen over here, guys, if you want to check out Larry's Rabdo experience. Wow. Did you ever think you'd get Rabdo? <laughs> no. So the average person that gets Rabdo is someone that has not been training. You don't hear of athletes getting rhabdo. For example, my coach Ryan Benson's uh, client got diagnosed with rhabdo because he took a three-year layoff from training anything yeah. and decided to do a three-hour arm workout. And then he <laughs> caught rhabdo. And he thought it was just muscle soreness. Yeah. But <clears throat> he actually got diagnosed with rhabdo a couple of days later because he had uh, such severe muscle soreness in his biceps. Uh, and he was actually pissing like a tea-colored urine. So his kidneys were failing. So yeah. that muscle memory kind of kicked in. He was untrained for it. And then he attempted the Rich P on an eight hour hard workout, made it three hours and got wrapped up. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's add some weight to this. Okay. Oh, look, you got the small one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's the size of my nuts. Pretty dark side. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big for nuts. <laughs> yeah, you can spread your legs as much as possible. I'm gonna have to go this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you shift to the other side. I can shift, but so much of my weight is, yeah, you know, as if you were your, yourself, right? I can 
can't sit to my head. Man, it's nice to have people do what I do. <laughs> so oh, I'm, not, I'm not doing what you're doing. I'm failing at that. <laughs> All right, okay. we're good. So this next stretch is called a quad fallout. This is something that's been trending for a while. When I started doing it, I found that it was probably one of the few ways I could get a full stretch of a quad with a contraction. Because if you think about quad exercises, they, uh, they don't have that huge stretch component. Like think about like a big fly. A huge stretch here, yeah. like a big dumbbell press, how it's like really deep. This quad stretch here, see this? Um, see that stretch? Oh my god! And then, in order to get back up, I'm going to push through the floor with my head on top of my foot. It's actually pretty good for the knees. Huh. I like it. I started doing it about two or three years ago. I thought it was a very good exercise for athletics, for knee health, and uh, it's a good quad day finisher because it's got that huge stretching component which kind of flosses the joints. I just do like 15 reps total. I think my knees might disagree, but we'll find I have out. found that doing a quad stretch prior to squats does eliminate any like patella pain. Does or does not? It does. It does. Yeah, so any pain I've ever had in the center of my knee would go away almost immediately after doing a quad stretch. So to prevent that happening in the first place, I would just cop on the bench and stretch my quad out Saturday. Oh, good, yeah. It's like five minutes. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do like three sets. First set is like a throwaway set. It's just one where you get the bench on camera. And on the second set, you're gonna do a little bit better. And the third set, we're gonna try some weights. If you do with weight, okay. So, so what we're gonna do is just kind of spread your knees down like this. Okay. You're gonna go out. That'll make it a little bit easier. And you can kind of put a just a smidge. Yeah, that would probably make it easier, more comfortable. I think you get the same benefit out of it too. Okay. All right. Now the key to this is to keep your hips forward. Right, right, as you go down. Yeah, keep your glutes engaged. Okay. Right, and then just kind of keep your head forward, like you pack it in on the deadlift. Okay. And just kind of sink down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really sketch. <laughs> Wait, am I putting my weight on my ankles or am I quad? You are gonna be putting, are... you're putting your weight on the top of the foot. So it it'll be on the talus of the foot right here. That's where your weight is. Go ahead, go down. It's a bitch, isn't it? Yeah. Now watch this. Oh. Stay there. Come back up. Okay. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Right. And now you're gonna use that to assist. Go ahead, go down. Yeah. Okay. Want a little bit? Oh, not so much. Okay. Oh. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It must be a good warm up for the sissy squad. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Did you get a little bit back there? Yes, yes. you know. Uh, see if I can. Oh, uh, man. so scratchy. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Exercise uh, freestanding sissy squat. If you do it right, it's good for your knees. It's kind of a point, you know. Sometimes you have to kind of work up to and play around in the discomfort area in order to actually get the therapeutic benefit of an exercise. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah, that's it. Do it better than me. Just kind of go all the way down. Just then you push through your feet and get back to the top. Yeah, it's ter terrifying, isn't it? <sighs> it's been a really stressful day. Yeah. It's been a really stressful day. Yeah, so. <laughs> so we're, we're only going to do this, uh, you did two reps? Two reps? Put my hands in. Okay, good, you did it. Three reps to stop it, Larry. I don't want to do more. I'm having fun. No, no, no. It's so much fun. 
<laughs> He's calling me out of my own game. All right, all you uh, body weight guys out there feeling pretty good about yourselves. <laughs> yeah. okay. There we go. Yes, sir. All right, now we're all right. We got one more exercise for you. Let's get it set up. Jack PGM, this one's for you. Flutter kicks. I got it from uh, Brian Shaw. He's the strongest man on earth. So if he's doing it, it means it's a good exercise, right? One. And yeah. 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 Woo! All right, we only got uh, 15 sets. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Larry, your turn. Let's go. Come on, Larry! Go! Let's go! That's it. Yeah. This video is done. It was stressful. <laughs>